did show and tell some silver. Um, I'm going to go from the biggest weight to the smallest weight. This is a, a big Rolo. It's five ounces. It's Swiss of America. And this is what the back looks like. So here. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed and I'm trying to film. So it might be kind of ugh. And I'm wearing two gloves, so that's why my fingers look so goofy. So that's um, five ounces. Um, this one right here is a it's a Credit Suisse um, 100 gram bar. Um, I don't know if you can see in the video, but it's it's toning purple on the front because the case is cracked. So it has some nice toning on the front only. Um, this next one is. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right. Degusa. Uh, and it's a 50 gram bar. I got this one off of a bid board, actually. So I thought it was cool because it's different. It's like, seems like a old pour, but I don't know. Um, this one's definitely an old pour. Uh, Phoenix Precious Metals. And it's one ounce. And it has the design right there. You can't see because my thumb. But... Um, these go for a good premium. This one also does. The last three also do. Um, this one, I picked it because it's actually older than me. Um, it's from 1974, but I just like it. It's so cool. And the back is plain. But that's one ounce. This one, I forget what the name of the company is. But it's also one ounce. It's old pour. It has a, also has a blank back, but you can see the pore lines on there. And everyone knows about USVI. Um, and this is one of the ones that I just picked up probably like last year. And then on the back, you can't see it real well, but it says um, one silver ingot Anaheim 999 plus, and then it has an assay number. So. I just like those. So I thought there would be a nice little show and tell.